you know, I have to take off my, my glasses for this one on the 17th day of, 17th day of uh, April. <laughs> I saw this, I had to do this video, I saw the minister Brent Simonet um, on TV with all them little black reporter around him. And God know we could do better than this. And this one, this one hurt my brains, you know. I don't like my brains to be hurt. And Brent Simonet says something that's been happening too often in this country. Brent Simonet said, but he changed the law because of the law in other country. Jesus Christ, man, Brent. Come on, Brent Simonet. This is why this is called the Bahamas. We are unique in our makeup geographically, independent of all states. And y'all, you especially Brent, and I used to fight and argue and carry on and cuss, because I felt that you would be the right prime minister for this country. Boy, and Hubert Ingham, I, I hate to say Hubert Ingham was right, but Hubert Ingham was right but you when he fired you. You ain't ready. And I taught all that money that daddy spent on you, sending you to them expensive school. I know you went to no cheap school. You went to some school to get some brains. But the same time, you taking crazy pills and your brain dead. When you're going to say to the media that you're trying to please the other country by changing our immigration law to catch up with them other country? Well, you and them would want to be like the other country. You all go to them other country. We are big. He means we don't have to change our law to please anybody. Brent Simonet, you got a little English in you. You see that Brex deal and Theresa May is killing ourselves trying to get back out of the European Union. They want to be Britain. Brent, everybody want to be independent of everybody. That is why Theresa May, look at her, going to lose her leadership position because they made a mistake. It's the same thing with this WTO foolishness for y'all trying to joke down our throats. When that come, then you're going to see the brunt of it. Why should we want to be like somebody else? Leadership is let somebody be like Bohemians. Let us be a breed apart. Have we been surviving without the WTO? Have we been surviving with the immigration policy the way it is? Only thing wrong with the immigration policy is use the Minister of Investment and greedy and don't want to get enough. Why the hell you even come back after you got two hundred million dollars in your back pocket? Why you come back to get more investors in your corner? not in the Bohemian corner. Try this, Mr. Simonet. Try and represent Bohemians. Stop the hell representing foreigners. You know, I used to be one of my favorite, but when you see you bought Ali Kashmir back here, after Ali Kashmir, your boy up there, Manny Alexio, manager at Boat Harbor, that stole 20 black Bohemian, the bread winners, the Bohemian black women, women are the bread winners of the country. And Ali Kashmir, another little, another little Cuban brood up there, stole those girls' tip for over a year. And surprisingly, whatever you may say about Fred Mitchell, he sent him out in two weeks. He sent him out. You brought him back. And Brent, you wasn't concerned about these girls, you know. All you was concerned about is. Money, Alexio, and the little brown skin manager. So far, Money had to fire him because Money saw that Kai was right. And guess who you brought? Two lily white manager again. Boat Harbor's never had a Bahamian manager in over 30 years. What are they hiding? Are they money laundering in Boat Harbor? Why can't they tell the Bahamian government? All them managers and grandmama, they would never hire a black person. We know many of them come from Greece. And that's the first place the Olympics was run and they were racist. 
they didn't like black people there and they don't like him now. But why is it that Kai had two managers sent out here and you bring them back and didn't even investigate why bring Ali Kashmir back? Now yesterday on the 16, you're running on with foolishness. You are changing the laws of the immigration law. You know why it was leaked out there? Because somebody in the office know that you're talking a bunch of foolishness. You don't give a hell about Bahamas. And the law you're changing, it's going to be for the expatriate white, your boys, people that you could sit down at the table with and veal and deal and screw all the Bahamas while them Negroes up there in the host assembly can't touch you. You're untouchable. That is unacceptable way Kai stay in Abaco. We got this fellow here in the Abaco Club. Um, how the hell did he get away from it? This guy is micromanaging everybody. Bohemians go to work and they are hurt, feel disenfranchised on the job. And these guys are still there. Richard Brennan. How did Richard Brennan get a work permit? And you know what? Uh, Richard Brennan grabbed me, assaulted and battered me the other day down there because I tried to give him some information he didn't want to hear from no black man. I too black for him. And you can't do nothing because Clark, I got to report Clark again because Clark find another place to get drunk. Clark go by Wyden Bay and I want the commissioner of police and the minister responsible to see why is Clark out in Wyden Bay getting drunk, playing golf and ain't paying nothing. That means Clark is in Richard Brennan's pocket. We can't have officials out there. James Albury out there too, you know. James Albury ain't paying for nothing. He out there whining and dining because they're, they're the people that he used to. Every minister, you remember, you, you, you imagine a minister come from Nassau, Edison Key and Robert Sweeting, they were professionals. Every time a minister come from Nassau to see, to leave early in the morning, to come to Abaco, to help Abaco, Edison or Robert Sweeting would be at the airport and ride with the minister and let the minister know what's concerning up to Abaco. Darren can be here, but James got a Bahamian government car, free car, free gas, and this boy wouldn't wake up in the morning and I ain't see him at all around nothing. This boy just, he just don't feel comfortable around black people. Watch him in Oats Assembly. He think they speak in gibberish because he fast asleep. He don't know what the hell going on in Oats Assembly. That, it was my job of sent. Then you got Steve Kaplan down there in Treasure Key. Brent, if Kaplan was in your constituency, like he is in Darren Henfield constituency, doing what he's doing to the people in Treasure Key, what he's doing to your people, would Kaplan still be in your constituency? You have to consider the hell that the people in Treasure Key is being catching over Kaplan fighting in the public with a little black sweetheart. These people ought not be in this country. They ought not be even be allowed to visit this country. Then you got Duncan Burns out there. Acting like a big white gorilla. Smoking like smoking gun of the style. And he could der derade and cuss an elected official. Plead guilty in the court and expect nothing to happen because he got y'all in his pocket. How could Bakers Bay get my Minister of Immigration and Investment in their pocket? 25 million to do that. Can you, Brent Simonet, find the balls to send these buggers home? <laughs> Duncan Barnes ought to be gone a long time, but let him stay right here. You owe me some money. He ain't got no way now. Leave Duncan Barnes right here. But Jeff Jones, he been selling prostitutes and cocaine in, in Bakers Bay and selling land illegally for years. Every piece of land that Jeff Jones sell was illegal land. And guess who he brought the papers into the sign off on? Prime ministers. That's collusion. Buddy, we need Ricky Lake in Abaco to investigate all the cronies. Steve Kaplan from Treshki ought to be gone. Richard Brennan that causing Bahamians hardship. He could never do it in America, you know. There would have been a lawsuit put on his behind long time. 
but he is a guest and as a courtesy of Bahamian people for these little white permit, Brent Simonet. How is it? Y'all can't figure why we ain't making no money? These people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars and they ain't spending this Bahamas. They are sending it out as soon as they get the check. Whoop! Are they paying taxes on this money that they sent out? What about Jeff Jones, the 40 million that he told me he got? Has he paid tax on the 40 million? Come on, Brent Simonet. You ain't a total fool. You act the fool, but you ain't no total fool. Find out what the hell Jeff Jones doing with the taxes of the 14 million. Kapla. We're down there great degrading Abaconians. Boy, I tell you. That is why I, I told him in trash, you don't call me, you know. If Kai was your member of parliament, I'd already had Brent in the smoke room and smoke to come out of him. Because I'm a minister, he is a minister, he has to listen to me and, con and, and, and listen to the concerns of the persons in my district. That is representation. I don't want to hear no excuse when my people are suffering and Kepler riding around like some big white donkey. That is unacceptable. Darren, your lieutenant. Take care of your people. What is your legacy going to be? Your legacy went up and smoked that night when he get beat so bad. So many people cried and I just say, thank you, Jesus, God, you've spoken. Get the hell, Yobut, off of Abaco and all the host assembly because he never cared for your people. And when you see God give you that opportunity to care for your people and you did nothing, you're gone in disgrace. Perry Christie, what is Perry Christie legacy? Perry Christie can't walk down in Seneville at all. Never ever look at those people. Never walk to the community. One of the most highest crime ridden places in Nassau, Perry constituency. Yoban Ingram could never walk to Dundas Town or, or Murphy Town without a bodyguard. Kai tell you that. He ain't gonna walk by me. Because if he do, God know what can happen. All them years of suffering, somebody gotta know that Yoban did wrong to us. You hear me? Darren, we ain't got no MP here. James is a waste of paper. You are now the member of parliament for both North and South. Find some quality people to let you know what's going on in Abaco. Richard Brennan ought never been given a work permit at the Abaco Club. He is a racist pig. Then you got Andrew Sweeting up there living off money inheritance, treating and degrading people like he's some big thing. Andrew them need pills to live. If he don't take no pills, he's a dead boy. And he want the great Bahamian workers. Unacceptable. Kaplan need to go. Duncan Byrne needs to go. Jeff Jones need to go. Work on these, you work on a second term. You don't work on these, you're wasting the people time. The people tired of these things. The people's tired of suffering. Kai cares. That's why I'm giving you the information. You deal with them. That's the first straw. That's a three month deal. I would have got rid of them long time. If Kai was a member of parliament and a minister, I could sit in Brent's office and Brent they're gonna deny me to get these brutes on Abaco that disrespected my people. Hell to the no. They're gone, buddy. Kai cares. They're gone.